I like to start with what I know and then work towards what I don't know. I wanted to take the formality of the house and the informality of the woods and kind of make the two combine. I'd like to show you how not to mulch around a tree. It's a step that I see very few landscapers doing. You want to make sure to have variation in your heights. Look at how lovely this is. We just cued the butterfly to come in. I'm gonna go ahead and start spreading our topsoil over here. I'd like to put a little bit more down in that end of the bed and then a little bit around the tools. Where the tools are is where there's gonna be some uh, evergreen trees and those are gonna be my largest pieces in the, in the bed. So what I wanna do is, is use the shovels. I'll use the shovels just so I can visualize where the trees are gonna be. So when I'm putting the soil in the bed, Usually where the largest tree is, is where I also want the grade to be the highest as well. My voice sounds really funky. I don't know how it sounds on the camera, but I certainly sound scratchy.
Well folks, that's just about gonna do it for today. I gotta say that I'm pretty happy, uh, even though I wasn't feeling very good, I got all the gravel down and I got all the dirt spread. So tomorrow, uh, Lord willing, I'll be coming back with some plants and we can go ahead and start planting. You can kind of see over my shoulder there, I've got the bed on, uh, between the two properties there. The grade is pretty much set. And you know, when you're grading out your beds, you're looking for that happy medium between raising the grade a bit and not raising the grade too much. You want to raise the grade so you can get some good soil in there, create a little bit of a character to the beds, but you don't want them to look like volcanoes. Uh, and sometimes on hillsides, especially on hillsides, they can really pop out of the ground quickly. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with the way things are coming out there. So uh, I'm not sure how tomorrow is going to go. Uh, but usually the days I go buy plants, usually it takes most of the morning, even sometimes a little bit longer. So we may not be back tomorrow, but uh, the next time you guys see me on YouTube here, uh, we'll be dropping off some plants and um, putting them in the ground. Thanks for watching today, folks, and have yourselves a wonderful night.